Hey, what's up everybody? As you can probably see on the title above me, it says WrestleMania 28 heading to Miami. That's right. Now, in case you've been living under a rock, maybe over the past few days, uh, WrestleMania, as a couple, res the announcement was a couple of days ago that WrestleMania 28 would be heading to Miami, Florida. Now, despite what some people may say, WrestleMania will be going to Miami for the first time, not the second time. Florida will be, the state of Florida will be getting Miami, will be, the state of Florida will be getting WrestleMania for the second time. The state of Florida will be, but it will be the first time the city of Miami's gotten it. You see, the last time WrestleMania was in Florida was at WrestleMania 24 in Orlando, Florida. You know, WrestleMania 24 in Orlando, Florida at the Citrus Bowl which sort of became infamous for the fact that you had one or two WWE superstars at that time appearing in the audience at a TNA Impact taping and by doing so cost themselves their jobs later on. Now, now, um, so basically again this is not the second time Miami's gotten this pay-per-view it's the first time. Second time for Florida, but the first time for Miami. Now, where is it going to be located at? Well, in case you, well, as you can read down there in the description box, Sun Life Stadium. Now, in case you don't know what Sun Life Stadium is, I'll give you some hints. It used to go by these previous names. The Miami Gardens, Pro Player Stadium, Dolphin Stadium, and probably its most famous name, Joe Robbie Stadium. That's right, for all you old schoolers out there, Joe Robbie Stadium itself, now known as Sun Life Stadium, is going to be hosting WrestleMania 28 next year. Now, it's hard to believe that it's already next year's WrestleMania, the, next, the, lo the location of next year's WrestleMania has been set in stone. Well, not in stone, but it has been set. Despite what may, may happen in the, in the next 13 months, if you will, in the next 14 months, it has been set in stone. But now the question is, where will wrestle? Now the question is, and first of all, before I get into this, congratulations to the city of Miami and you WWE fans out there. Hope you have fun at Sun Life Stadium when you go there. Now, again, now the question is, where would the following years be? Where would WrestleMania 29 be, despite what may happen in 2012? of, despite what people may say on the internet and on the news and all that, what will happen in 2013? Where will 2013's WrestleMania, WrestleMania 29 be? Now we know obviously the 30th WrestleMania will be back at Madison Square Garden in New York. That's, that's an obvious given, seeing as though 10, 20 have, WrestleMania 10 and 20 have been there. But now the question is, where will the one in between 28 and 30 be? Where would that be located at? Well, you know what? There's a lot of people out there here on the YT, on the DM, the Facebooks, the MySpaces, the Twitters, all tossing out ideas where they feel WrestleMania should be. I mean, Spinternet himself has come out and described what areas could really benefit from Wrestlemania. I think he did. I'm not really sure. I know the wrestling gurus have come out and probably said it on a few occasions. I know Jeff Meacham has. I mean a lot of people here on the YT, a lot of people on the internet websites of wrestling have all said and given their opinions as to where they think Wrestlemania should you know come, come to. Now Vince McMahon in a press conference flat out basically said that they want to take Wrestlemania to cities all over the place, not just to the same city, you know, for a second year in a row. They want to take Wrestlemania to different cities around the world. Excuse me for a second.
Sorry about that. My, I had to put the uh, these uh, drapes that you see behind me up for my cat so she can sit sit on the window seal here. But anyway, but anyway, um, the question is, you know, they've all given all these people have given their opinions as to where they think WrestleMania should be next year. Now, you know, I could throw my two cents out there as well, in which I will, <laughs> actually. But, like I said, everybody has given their opinions as to where they think WrestleMania should be in the future. And like I said, Vince McMahon himself has said that they want, he wants to take WrestleMania to cities that are going to, you know, welcome them and give them the appreciation they deserve. Now, I don't know what he means by that, but I think if you read between the lines, he's basically, also, he's basically saying... that he wants to um, take Wrestlemania to, excuse me for a second, yeah. but basically he wants to take Wrestlemania to different cities, just not the same old cities that he had in the past, but to different venues as well, which is why WrestleMania, according to many, has become just as important as the Olympics and as the Super Bowl. Because every major city wants it. Cities that never had it, major cities that have never had it, they want it. Even smaller cities that, you know, some people may say, oh, them getting WrestleMania is like a long shot. They even throw their names in the, into the mix. But all these cities that have these venues, either the small cities, major cities, or whatever, all want WrestleMania. I can tell you honestly, I used to live in Lawrence, Kansas, and we have Memorial Stadium, right? And we have Allen Fieldhouse. And despite how the weather is in April at that time, there's no doubt people, the city of Lawrence would like to have something like WrestleMania either at Memorial Stadium or at Allen Fieldhouse. There's, there's no doubt about that. There's no doubt about that whatsoever. But again, people would look at Lawrence, Kansas, a city like Lawrence, Kansas, and say that's a long shot. When they look at a city like Kansas City, like Kansas City, they look at a city like Kansas City and they say, hey, if you could put a retractable roof on Arrowhead Stadium, or you could build a new stadium, period, or put a retractable roof or do something with Kauffman Stadium, then, yeah, you could probably get WrestleMania. The NFL's even considered putting the Super Bowl in Kansas City in the future, as long as they get, like, a retractable stadium, a roof for the stadium, or something like that. But you see, that's just the thing. All these cities, all these major cities, even the small cities, are in bidding wars for WrestleMania. Just like they're in bidding wars for the Super Bowl. Just like they're in bidding wars for the Olympics. But as you see, it's not just every major, major and small city here in the U.S. It's all over the world. I'll give you an example. There's fans in London, England, that they had a pay-per-view. They had a WWE pay-per-view pay-per-view there before. They have. And that pay-per-view was SummerSlam 92, I believe. 92. SummerSlam 92. And it sold out. Can you imagine what would happen if they had WrestleMania there? Huh? They would like that. But again, there's so many cities out there with so many venues, either the small cities or major cities, that would love to have a thing like WrestleMania. I mean, here in the CA, here in California, the city of Los Angeles wants WrestleMania. Hey, they even want the Super Bowl. Why? Because they're planning to build hopefully build a new field, a new, a new sports complex called Farmer's Field. I think that's the name, the, the proposed name for it. I, said, I think that's the proposed name for it. But they want to build this new sporting complex, not just to attract probably an NFL franchise back to the city, but to also be able to attract all these major events, like a Super Bowl, like a WrestleMania. And those two names right there, Super Bowl and WrestleMania, have come up the most. But you see, Los Angeles isn't the only city to be left out. The city of Santa Clara, here in the Silicon 
Bay, Silicon Valley, Bay Area, Central Valley region, they too have had their name probably brought up. Maybe not as much, but they too probably have had their name brought up due to the fact that they are planning to build a new stadium for the 49ers in the near future. That's right, a new stadium. And you can Google that on Google. You can put in 49ers Santa Clara new stadium. And you'll find that and you'll see exactly what, it's, what the plans for the stadium are going to look like, what the stadium is supposed to look like when it gets built. But think about that. With a stadium like that in Santa Clara being proposed and ready to be built probably in the future, don't think for, for one instant the NFL or the WWE won't consider probably a place like Santa Clara throwing their name in. Because Santa Clara will look at this new stadium and say, you know what? We can not only house a Super Bowl here, but we can house a WrestleMania. Makes sense, right? But you see, that's not the only thing. See, that's not the only thing. They can house all these events. They can house all these events. But you see, Santa Clara and Los Angeles, California are not the only cities out there that are probably are proposing or probably are going to get ready to throw the hats into the ring or in their names into the hat or into the ring to get WrestleMania. I'm pretty sure that the city that hosted the Super Bowl this past Sunday at New Cowboy Stadium, Arlington, Texas, Dallas, Arlington, Texas, what are you going? I don't I think it's Arlington, Texas, I'm not sure. Yeah it is. But they I know they I know they particularly will probably want a WrestleMania. Cause think about it. You don't think, for example, Vince McMahon doesn't look at a stadium like new, this new Cowboy Stadium, sees how much it can house, and then add in the fact that you got stadiums, you can have seating on the floor, on the field. You don't think he's not going to look at that and say, hmm. They you and say, hmm. The NCAA used that venue to break my record from the Silver Dome. I'm going to use that same venue to break the record. You don't think he doesn't see that? You don't think he doesn't see that, for example? You don't think he doesn't see that? I do. I definitely think he sees that. And I think, definitely think, I know, and I definitely believe he's considering something like that. But you see, they're not the only ones. They're not the only ones that would probably want WrestleMania. you got to look at the New Orleans, Louisiana, the Superdome. They get the Super Bowl next year. Don't think the Superdome isn't thinking to themselves, you know what? Atlanta's getting the WrestleMania this year. Why can't we get WrestleMania in the future? See what I'm saying? And, and not only that, but think of it this way. With the news recently of the fact that the Metrodome is going to need a new roof, probably built for the Vikings, don't think, for example, once that new roof is built, that they're going to want to throw, despite how strong it is, and it should probably be better than the other one, that they're not going to want to throw their hat in for WrestleMania. I mean, Indianapolis, from what I understand, was beat out. Imagine WrestleMania at Lucas Oil Stadium. Get what I'm saying? All these cities will want it. I'm pretty sure Brooklyn, New York, with a new Yankee Stadium, would like it, depending on the weather. But I'm pretty sure they would like a WrestleMania. So again, think about that. Think about that, for example. WrestleMania in any one of those cities. Even Honolulu, Hawaii could probably get it. And why? Well, let me check my time here, for example. For a second, I should say. And again, why do I think they could probably benefit from it? Why do I think they could probably benefit from it? Well, I'm going to give you my top five cities that I think could be bidding for WrestleMania, not just next year, for WrestleMania 29, but for future WrestleManias. I'll give you my predictions on my top five in part two.